I haven't been really able to build up resiliency much until my 50s, which seems kind of sad, but I'm really grateful and happy that finally it happened, you know, because re building resiliency is like you get up and you try something and if you fall down, you get back up, right? That's resiliency. Well, I used to fall down all the time and just stay there, you know, and now, you know, I'm a writer, okay? I kept taking those classes and I kept taking those classes and now I'm a writer. I work with an editor. I'm trying to publish a chapbook on bad days. I, I do just have to kind of go easier on myself, you know, and I do have a day on Sundays. On Sundays, I call it pajama day. Sundays are my pajama day. I'm sorry, I don't get out of my pajamas on Sundays. It's my official pajama day. And also my routines, in my, in my routine that I have to have in place, you know, I, I have room for novelty. You know, I have some novelty in my routines. And sometimes I claim Saturday as pajama day. And sometimes midweek is like, you know, I don't have that much to do today. I'm going to make Wednesday my pajama day. But then Sunday I'll get busier. But, you know, I'm a writer. I have some deadlines. So I do have to get work done. You know, I do. So um, I do some volunteer work as well. And, um, you know, that gives me a sense of purpose. And so, you know, I have to do those things. When I start seeing these things fall away, I go, get on your skills, get up, do something, move forward. That's what I say to myself, move forward. Move forward means get up off your rear end and move forward. Do the next right thing, do the next best thing, go. What NAMI has done with me is that they let me volunteer and they encouraged me and they didn't put me down when I made a mistake. And when I made a mistake, they were gentle with me. They were gentle with me and they said, oh, no, you just do it this way. And, and that's okay if you made a mistake. And they were so gentle, they were so encouraging. And they let me pick and choose. At first they were like, well, you should do this. Well, you should do that. And I said, no, I wanna be a speaker. And they said, that's fine, do it. And they were just so encouraging and so gentle. And I, I had, uh, I had uh, volunteered at another agency where they were so picky. And they were so like, oh no, don't do that. Oh, oh you made a mistake there. And I just felt picked on. And with NAMI, it was so much different. And they were so supportive. And I'm very grateful that they allowed me to build more resiliency in my life. And that was a, a stepping block to build more resiliency. So I'm very grateful to NAMI and to all of its staff.